the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the balmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And it's starting to start to fan out, boys and girls, starting to come our way a little bit as uh, the gap is now just one point between us and Manchester United after their most recent result. Uh, which was a draw uh, against Everton. So yeah, uh, I thought these two were going to be sticky. I just didn't think. I just didn't think we would get anything from it. So basically, win out for us, and we become Premier League champions. But uh, standing in our way, um, it's it's not a, it's not an up, it's not an easy struggle. It's not an easy sort of passage. We do have the East Lancashire derby up against Burnley. Now that should be a simple case because they are nineteenth. But you never know in these uh, in the derby matches. And then it is up against Manchester City, which is a difficult one. But it is at home. So hopefully we can try and get something out of it anyway. And then we're going to wrap it up ourselves up against Everton and Tottenham. So difficult one. But before then, let's bring you up to speed at what you had missed. Just the one game. And that was a 3-2, a 3-0 win over Stoke at their gaff. Rovers exploding onto the scene here, scoring all three goals from the first 15 minutes. Lewis Gunn with the uh, initial header. And he was there to the to the first rebound. Bundled at home. He actually got a second straight straight away. Pretty much seven minutes on the clock. Uh, sorry, that was Garcia. Uh, he on the seven minutes on the clock. Uh, Gunn then got his second, sorry, on the 14th minute, give or take. So 3-0. Rovers doing the job and keeping the pressure firmly on Manchester United. So it is still a three-horse race. Obviously, Man City beat us today. They could also be uh, level on points with Manchester United. So the game coming up after this one is the massive one. But hopefully we can first and foremost get a job done uh, against Burnley. Maybe even relegate them. Yeah, let's relegate them. Six finger banjo playing weirdos. So yeah, folks, it is the East Lancashire Derby, folks. Yes, and over the years, we've only played each other five times. Obviously, we got promoted uh, in our first season. Um, I think Burnley were in the division at the same time for the next season. But they've been, yeah, they've, they've been up and down, um... In fact, let's have a look at their uh, let's have a look at their recent track um, uh, record over the years. See uh, the league. So yeah, we kicked off here. Next season we were in the Prem. Then they were looks yeah we've been in we've been in the Premier League twice at the same time. And then obviously so this is the sixth time we've met. Uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we've won off. We've won four of them. We've drawn one of them. Um, so hopefully we can get a fifth win for us and give us uh, put us top of the pops, boys and girls, going into the final three games of the season. Interesting times. So for this match, we are going to be a, li a little bit bold and try and go for it a little bit with a four-three-three of sorts. Ryan Gob, Toto, Ayala, Nesbit, Torreira, Garcia, Stepanovic, Armstrong, Domingos, and Gunn leading the line. On the bench, we have Flinchit White. Before we go, we need another striker. We need another striker. Musto for Palomino. Where's Maitland Niles? He also needs to be on there. Maitland Niles for Palomino. Dak, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to miss this one. No, you're not. No, you're not. I need you in there somehow, Miranda. Yeah, let's, let's do it. So Burnley stunned with five at the back here. With a, but they're kind of being very cautious, uh, leaving the lone striker up top. See how we get on. So the East Lancashire Derby, folks. We are playing in our blue and white halves with our black shorts. Um, yeah, we are starting on the front foot. 
But uh, Burnley with the first effort of the day. Five minutes on the clock. Free kick by Nielsen. Ten minutes in. Rovers not really creating much. Possession is kind of split. Let's uh, shout them a little bit. Come on, boys. Let's get, get some creative fatigue flowing around the place, perhaps. Seems to be a bit of a snore fest at the moment, guys. Cannot see any opportunities by Rovers whatsoever. Maybe here, though. Petutra Garcia to Stepanovic. Garcia breaks away, and he has a good old shot. And Henderson, obviously. We all know about Henderson, don't we? Still. Just edging closer to the 45-minute mark. It is nil-nil. Last chance saloon before the halftime. Petrucci Garcia to Stepanovic. Kind of a carbon copy of the last highlight. Uh, picked up there by Torreira. Now Garcia, long range effort. 14th of the season. Could there be any more, more valuable goal than that? I don't know. We'll praise them for that. And we'll just see out the half. That is a cracking way to, or perfect way to end the first half. 1-0 up. So second half, um, all the same, please just keep it simple. Don't do anything stupid. And as you can see, look at the stats. We are completely dominating this one now. 20 shots to their one. Torreira, corner, comes out. Gun picks up the loose ball, keeps it going to Torreira. Crosses, Armstrong is there, back in the team and back in the goals. Just his fifth of the season. And that also... Could be one of his most valuable goals he's scored. And we seem to be in control. Torreira with the double assist today. Uh, so I might throw Daki Boy on here for a cameo. Torreira's been pretty solid. Can he play further upfield? He's going to have to. Daxter's coming on. Flincher is coming on. That'll do. I think I think we, we should be able to see this out. Demand more of our boys. Just going to see this out. We are top of the pops, boys. We are top of the pops. So win the rest of the three remaining games. And we're going to be Premier League champions. But we have uh, Man City next. Um, which, you know, depending on what goes on with Manchester United, could see us back down into second or even third or something, perhaps. Uh, anyway, Rovers continuing here. Maybe to add a third. We do need goals. If we're gonna, if it's going to go down to goal difference, I think it's too big a ask. Torreira wraps up his hat-trick. No, he doesn't get a hat-trick. He, uh, he was the assist king last time. Sorry. Completely, completely lost my train of thought. Oh, that was a cheeky wee foul, but it's probably too little, too late, Burnley. 3-0 down, Garcia, Armstrong and Torreira on the score sheet. So we do go top of the Premier League. We'll have a look at that in a second. And a quick look at the table as it stands. So it's still very, very tight. Yes, it is. Because if Man City do beat us in this next game, they will go above us. And depending on what goes on at Manchester United as well, between, I think, them and Spurs. Uh, yeah, it is. It's getting to the nitty-gritty side. We've only lost three times this season. Um, but ultimately, there's three games left. So we could still lose um, and end up nowhere near the title. So I've just signed a three-year extension to my deal at Blabber Rose. So I'm going to be here for at least that. Well, you know, obviously... I might get fired, but uh, but ultimately uh, contracted till 2031 with Rovers. So here we go, folks. It is up against Manchester City. It's the big one. Win this, and I think we'll be in complete command of the Premier League title. We could go uh, five points clear of Manchester City, and also five points clear for the time being ahead of Manchester United. But... Uh, our record against Manchester City is not the greatest. Uh, lost 10 of them. Uh, we've won four and drawn two. And uh, of the three that we lost this season, Manchester City was one of them. So we've got it all to do. But fortunately, he is at Ewood Park. So hopefully that will add something to the mix. Okay, folks, here we go. With the starting lineup, Henry Ingold, Petrucci Toto, Ayala, Nesbitt, Apazo, Torreira, Stepanovic, Garcia, Armstrong and Gunn. We are playing a cautious uh, 11 for the, or at least formation for the time being. And then we'll, we'll switch it up as need be. Okay, folks, uh, up against City with Cardi still leading the line. Rosler, Pulisic supporting, and on the bench, we've got Jesus, De Bruyne, and Bailey. 
Still tasty, no matter how old they are. Alrighty, so Manchester City will kick us off. Um, win this and we will be in driving seat. A draw opens up the uh, door for, for both United and Manchester City. And Garcia has given us a dream start here within the first six minutes and a free kick. And I think that puts him top goal scorer for us so far. Um, problem is we've got to keep a hold of him in the summer. Because I think... For our rise this season, it's not been our strikers. It's been our midfield and a little bit of our defence. Oh my God, oh, it's bundled in. It's offside. Mukele Lili uh, has been ruled out for... I'm not sure the maths on that. Because if it was an OG... I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're still one up. We're in the command right now. Still got a 60 odd minutes to go. And we are not dominating possession. Neves tried to do a, a Garcia there. But could not. He gets another crack at the whip. And again goes over. So back to back free kicks. Fortunately no trouble for, for Henry between the sticks. As we edge closer to the 45 minute mark. Rovers in the driving seat for the first title since 1995. But... Still got another half of football to go. Uh, and again, you know, win this and it's still, we've still got two difficult games to wrap up a season. Okay, folks, here we go. Second half and Rovers are kicking off. A second goal would make me feel a little bit more secure about the points. As it stands, it's looking very, very promising. United, though, would need to win their game in hand. It would put the pressure on them. 20 minutes, 30 minutes to go, sorry. I'm not touching a single thing here, boys. Last 19 minutes. Again, keeping it as is. I'm not dabbling in it. Last 10 minutes. Are they going to sting us right at the death? Terreras. Oh, chance here for Rovers. <laughs> that, my friends, could be that. How how big a player has Garcia been? Look at all the yellows uh, knocking about. Musto is going to come in. Um, Shinchenko is coming in. Any of the yellow cards I can take off. Ayala. Palomino will switch with Nesbitt. That should be job done. Last six or seven minutes. Garcia... By coming out and out, top goal scorer now with 16 goals to the season. Look at that, boys. That is massive. Absolutely massive. And there it is. Garcia 2, Man City 0. We are now five points clear, but obviously, we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. Absolutely massive. Five points clear. Let's take a look at Manchester United. When do they play their next game? Um, they play it Thursday. Two days time. So yeah, I, I, let's let's actually go forward and have a look at that. See what where where we are when everyone's played all their games. So here it is, folks. Manchester United against Tottenham. Obviously, if Man United win this, they close the gap to back to two. Lose it, the gap is five points between us and them, uh, with two games remaining. Let's take a look. And Man United obviously do the job. Uh, three one win in the end to close the gap to two points. Uh, they have in the last hurrah, in the last episode, and you'll see it, they have Brighton and Leicester. Very winnable games for them. And we do have a couple tricky ones, Everton and Tottenham away from home. And you can catch them both um, in the next episode. Okay, should we, are Man City out of it? You think they need to win both and we need to lose? But anyway, we'll have a look at them anyway, see who they've got. They've got Southampton and Wolves. Um, so Man United obviously trying to retain the Premier League. Uh, but can we be the, the 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 party poopers and pick up our first title since 1994-1995? Anyway, we're going to get, get, out, get out of here. We'll be back here tomorrow for what could be an absolutely cracking episode um, as we try to win the first, our first Premier League since 1995. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, 
football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.